Before the internal combustion engine and before electric motors were widely in use, it was the water wheel that powered many early machines. They were the uh, movers of industry, let's say. Standing at 36 feet tall and turning at a speed of about six revolutions per minute is California's oldest working water-powered grist mill. Well, a grist mill is a, a mill that was used to grind grain into flour. Rob Grassi is one of the many caretakers at the Bale Grist Mill State Historic Park in Calistoga. His official title is Historic Millwright, a title that few people in the world hold, and for good reason. What I've been into since I was a kid, really. But there's not enough money to be made really doing it, so I've always done other jobs for full time. <laughs> okay. It's been sort of a part-time passion of mine. It's Rob's job to keep the wooden water wheel and all of its moving parts, well, moving. And it's not an easy task. The historic mill was built in 1846 by a mysterious man by the name of Dr. Edgar Turner Bale. They really didn't know a lot about him. I mean, there wasn't a lot of written about him. The so. mysteriousness is the fact that we don't know a whole lot about him. Yeah, and he died young, too. What we do know is that Dr. Bale was an English army doctor hired by General Vallejo before California became a state. He ended up marrying General Vallejo's niece and consequently he became a Mexican citizen and he got a land grant. Shortly after Bale got that Mexican land grant and had the grist mill built, the gold rush started and Bale got gold fever. But he actually went to the gold, gold fields and he came back sick and died. It was Bale's wife that ended up running the mill after he died in 1849. Then in 1925, the mill became a historic landmark. Since then, the mill's been repaired and restored a number of times, so tourists like me can be put to work grinding grain like it was done in the old days. There you oh, yeah. go. There you go. That, is, that feels just like moving a rock, essentially. <laughs> Grist is just another word for grain, and the small hand crank grist mill gives you an idea of how hard it was to get enough flour to make bread. The shelf life of flour can be years and years. They only had months. So that's why they came to the mill as often as they did, and they had to grind their grain typically every few months. Today, we know Napa Valley as wine country, but during the gold rush era, this was the breadbasket of California. And we had the gold rush, there was a lot of mouths to feed. So the price of flour went way up. Whoa, this is coming out so much faster. <laughs> the giant thinly spaced rock grinders make quick work of turning the hard grain into powder. It's a very dusty business in here. Oh yeah, you absolutely. Got, you have flour boogers all the time. Yep. Uh -huh. Here, gravity is the workhorse and it's pretty powerful. The weight of the water turns the wheels, which power the belts, spin the wooden gears, and create a lot of flour. When these were working commercially, they could produce up to upwards of 900 pounds an hour. And watching the wooden mill in work is like stepping back in time. From the Bale Grist Mill in Calistoga, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads. It's gonna be a long time before I get enough flour to make some bread here.